Hey everyone, so today's tutorial is this vampire look for Halloween and this is in association with the skincare brand Simple. The colours for this particular vampire was inspired by one of the films in the 90s called Interview with a Vampire. So the products I'm going to be testing out for you today is the Kind to Skin Hydrating Cleansing Oil by Simple. This is fantastic at removing makeup and I'm going to show you this at the end of the tutorial. So this looks really adaptable whether you're male or female and it's a great look if you don't want to go out looking too gory but you still want something that's quite effective. I'm applying a foundation that's a couple of shades lighter than my skin tone because we want that pale effect but we don't want to be obviously white. And I'm going to work that into the skin over the ears and down the neck with a damp sponge. The first eyeshadow I'm using is this matte finish mustard shade and on a fluffy blending brush I'm working that through the socket of the eye. We're going to take this all the way to the eyebrow on the inner corner and then pull that colour out as we get to the outer edge. On the outer half we don't want to take it up to the eyebrow. I will list all the products used in the description bar of the video for you. Using that same fluffy blending brush I'm also working that underneath the lower lashes making sure I connect that to the outer corner of the top lid. Don't be afraid to really blow that colour out, don't forget we're creating the look of sleep deprived skin and eyes. So really work that into the lower socket of the eye as well as the top. This will give us that really sallow appearance. Next I'm taking another matte finish eyeshadow and this is a rich warm brown with a red undertone to it. And on that same fluffy blending brush I'm working this over the entire mobile eyelid so from where your lashes start and up into the socket. Use a light hand and work in circular motions. I applied this colour twice to really build up that opacity. I then decided I wanted a little bit more of that rusty shade in the socket of the eye so I tapped off all the excess product from the brush and then just worked that again in circular motions through the socket. Don't worry if we lose some of that mustard shade because we're going to go back in with it later on. Next I'm taking this rich chocolate dark brown matte eyeshadow and using a small socket blender brush I'm working that on the outer corner of the mobile eyelid. Then once the majority of the colour has come off of the bristles I'm going to feather that into the socket of the eye and that will give us a nice blend between the two colours. I'm also applying a small amount of that shade on the inner corner of the eye, again keeping this to the mobile eyelid and then feathering what's left on the bristles through the socket. So we're creating a halo effect to the eye. The next colour I'm using is a warm peachy shade and again a matte finish and I'm pressing this over the centre of the mobile eyelid. Then to create more of a gradient between that dark chocolate brown and that peachy tone, I'm going back in with that warm brown in between the two colours. And as you can see we get a really nice blend from dark chocolate into warm brown into that peachy tone and then the warm brown and then the dark chocolate again. Using that same socket blender brush I'm going in with the dark chocolate on the outer corner connecting the lower lash line to the top lid. And then using what's left on the bristles to run that all the way underneath the lower lashes. Next I'm going in with a black liquid liner and I'm going to create a simple winged liner all the way across. Of course if you're male you can adapt this by going for a slightly more grunged appearance to the lash line by using a black eyeshadow. This look is totally adaptable, you just want to use the same shades and you can use the same eyeshadow placement but obviously just leaving out the eyeliner and the lashes. To make this quite fierce I'm going to apply a small amount of that liquid liner to the inner corner of the eye in a sharp triangular shape and then I'm also going to run that underneath the lower lashes all the way across. Then I'm taking an angled liner brush to smudge that out when I've created this type of look on men, I'd use a black eyeshadow to work that underneath. In films you'll often see a lot of vampires with that kind of guy liner look. On a pencil brush I'm working that warm chocolate brown shade underneath the lower lashes. Along the waterline I'm applying a black coal liner. This is really going to give you that smoky, fierce, sultry look. Then you want to curl your lashes and go in with some mascara. Again when I've adapted this look to males I've applied a very light coat on the top lashes and nothing on the bottom. For eyebrows I'm going slightly darker than my natural shade and making them a bit more defined. If you really want to go for that classic vampire look and if you're male you can create a slight arch in the brow at the very top so they're a bit more triangular. And my advice would be to stick with a really dark brown as opposed to going with black. Off camera I'm going to apply some false lashes, I do have a tutorial up close on how to do this if you're unsure. Next I'm taking this matte finish muted brown and it's a cool colour and I'm going to use this to contour around my face. You definitely want to apply quite a bit of this to the temple area and by applying it around your hairline it really enhances the paleness to the centre of your face making you look a little bit more harsh and fierce in appearance. 
So as you can see, I'm sculpting my cheekbone area, so I'm applying this colour into the hollows of the cheeks, and I'm not blending it out too much because we do want it to be quite severe. And this step is a definite whether you're male or female. So my tip is to apply the colour, blend it with your fluffy blending brush, reapply the colour, and then repeat the process until you're happy with how severe the contour is. In order to make our cheekbones really pop like a vampire, we're going to apply the same amount of colour into the temple area so it's parallel with the contour that we've got on the cheekbone. On a fluffy brush, I'm taking that same contour colour into the lower socket of the eye to define that area a little bit more. And then with a light hand, I'm using a little bit more of that mustard shade just to enhance that sallowness to the skin. Going back to the contour colour, I'm applying a small amount underneath my lower lip and this just helps with the structure of the face. Now I'm going in with this matte finish chocolate brown lipstick but if you're male, then I would go in with something that's a little bit more fleshy toned and then apply the blood around your mouth. For me, I think this works really well with the tones that we've got going on on the eyes. As I said earlier, the colours are inspired by the film which was set in the 1700s. I think this is a great alternative to the classic white face, dark eyes and red lips. Now a lot of you requested a look that wasn't so gory, so we're going to apply a small amount of blood around the mouth first. And then using a the tissue, we're going to work that into the skin until there's almost nothing left but staining. So this could be from previous blood sucking. And this part's optional. I'm just applying two drips down either side of my mouth. Obviously, if you're going to apply any blood around the mouth, please make sure it's an edible blood, as I don't want you getting ill or under the weather. Then it's just a case of applying your fangs. I think an authentic 1800s wig and outfit would work so well with this look. So I think this one is great for Halloween for those of you that want something that's relatively easy to do and isn't too gory. So I hope you all enjoyed my really quick and simple vampire tutorial. Now as this is in association with Simple, I'm going to show you how to remove my makeup using their new hydrating cleansing oil. So this one by Simple is pure grapeseed oil and it also contains vitamin A and E. It dissolves makeup without leaving that greasy feel to your skin. It's a common misconception that using a cleansing oil is going to leave your face feeling greasy and tacky and like there's a residue on your skin. That's not the case. Oils are great for cleaning all skin types. So if you have oily skin, don't feel like you can't use an oil based remover. It's not going to leave your skin feeling greasy. It's just going to get rid of all that excess oil that you produce and it's a really great way to deep clean your skin. Back in college when we were learning makeup and about skincare and how to remove makeup, we always used oil because oils are so, so good at really removing all the makeup that's on your skin. It gives you a really deep clean and it leaves your skin surface feeling hydrated. So I've removed my eye makeup on one eye and I'm gonna use this on this side of the face just to show you how effective this hydrating cleansing oil is at removing makeup. So you just need about three drops and use your hands, you're gonna work that into the skin. Just use circular motions. Straight away you can see it breaks down the foundation. Look, I've not even washed it off yet and you can see straight away it's taken off the brow colour. And then using warm water, I'm just gonna wash that off with my hands. So as you can see, it comes off really, really quick. I'm just gonna do the other side and I'll be back with you. So I've got a clean cloth and I'm just gonna show you that when I wipe over my skin, no more makeup comes off. Look, clean. It's so good at deep cleaning your skin and removing all traces of makeup and you don't even need to use a cloth. So as I said, this is an association with Simple, but I do get to test products before I agree to doing any type of sponsored video. I will always road test everything before I show you. On my channel, I love to give you products that I believe in. So my overall thoughts on this after trying it for, I think it's four days now, is really good. As you can see, Free Drops really does melt away the makeup within seconds. You have to try it to believe it. I've used the tiniest amount. I reckon this bottle that is 125ml will last you ages, it's so good. And my skin doesn't feel at all greasy, it feels hydrated, and best of all, it feels clean. Thank you all so much for watching, please give the tutorial a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it shows me that you like it and I'm producing the right content for you. To see more of my Halloween looks, you can click on either of these tutorials now and it will take you to my playlist. Hit subscribe if you haven't already done so, and don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.